Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Weapon H, issue number nine. Okay, let's talk about who made this comic book really quick, and then I got some bad news for you. Okay, so, uh, writer Greg Pack, artist Giwi Villanova, color artist Maury Hollowell, letters VCs Joe Caramunga, cover artist Philip Tan, and Rom Ra ah, Romulo Fiaro Jr., Battle Lines variant cover art by Max Lim. Uh, designers Jim Bowen and Anthony Gambino. So anyway, um, yeah, man, basically the guys go in to fight. There's an interesting part where they're tied up and they can't escape these magical bonds. So Hulk Vereen, like turns into regular old him and then grows up again back to Hulk and then slices, uh, punches this, you know, the, her, his captor. And it's like, okay, that was kind of cool, but everything else that happens, like, okay, we're going to go on a ninja mission. Oh, no, the radio was too loud in my ear, so now we have to fight these things. And it's like, dude, I'm a little worried about this comic book. Also, with all due respect, the art is kind of horrible. In pretty much every aspect you can imagine on this, this, I know what rushing looks like, all right? And this was just something where it's like, hey, man. Could you put together this comic book for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll have it to you in a month. Oh, no, bud. Sorry, uh, somebody else is supposed to do it. I need you to get it to me by tomorrow. Actually, it's, this looks like it was done, you know. Uh, you know, can you, how fast can you do it? I could give it to you in two weeks. Okay, do it. Um, this was This was really hard to read. The writing wasn't great. The direction was pretty much in a big old circle. And, eh. The ending, I gotta admit, was pretty interesting, but ah, that just could have been so much better. Basically, a very powerful. How about this? Okay, if you know Weird World, you then you know who the ruler, the true ruler of Weird Weird World is, and she, at hint, has been captured, and she basically they captured her so that they could power this limitless energy supply back to Earth. Yeah, it's really cute and all. It's a great concept, but I don't think that the execution was that great. But more importantly, the... Ah, dude, I'm dying here. The art is just so bad. There's a part where he's leaning down... Uh, or, excuse me, where he's, he's, ha he's hunkered down on his haunches. And he's talking to the soldier. And the soldier barely comes up to his knees while he's hunkered down. And then... Um, what he says to the author, like the writing is just so bad. It's the dialogue. He says, uh, don't worry, soldier. He might as well be patting him on the head. Don't worry. We got this. You're a good soldier. What are you doing? What is being written here? So it's a shame that this just went from, oh, wow, this was cool, to, oh, wow, this issue, man. Hmm. Was not impressed. I'm not happy with this pretty much at all. This... This really disappointed me this week, man. Really disappointed me. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for me. I cannot recommend this comic book, unfortunately, guys. If you read it and you liked it, chime in. Seriously, real talk. I'd love to hear what you liked about this comic book. We might agree on a couple things, but for the most part, I feel like this just fell so damn short. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.